There's over 200 factors in Google's algorithm. So how do you ensure that your website is compliant and you're doing all the right things so that way you can rank higher on Google? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna break down a simple way to optimize your website in less than 30 minutes. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. The first thing I want you to do is go to neilpatel.com slash SEO dash analyzer. You can see the URL here on the screen. And then I want you to put in the website URL of your own website and then just click the analyze website button. It's going to load you up into the Uber suggest app and you'll see a report that looks something like this. Now my report loaded in literally a second or two, but that's because I already crawled my website. And a lot of you, funny enough, when you're using Uber Suggest, put in neilpatel.com as your quote unquote domain. So my website tends to be cached, but for yours, it could take anywhere from a minute or two all the way up to 10 to 20 minutes to crawl your whole website if it's super, super large with thousands and thousands of pages. And once your report's done, you'll see something that just gives you your overall on-page SEO score, your monthly traffic, your organic keywords, your backlinks, uh, how many pages were crawled, you know, your health check, your critical errors, warnings, recommendations. And as you go down, it breaks down things like your site speed, your mobile score, and a lot of SEO issues. Now, keep in mind at Ubersuggest, we're continually adapting and updating the app literally multiple times a week. Multiple times a week, we're releasing new updates. So when Google does an algorithm and we learn things that are working, we're adapting Uber suggests to include those so that way when it crawls and analyzes your website, it takes those things into account. So then that way you don't have to learn every single factor in Google's algorithm. Now what I want you to do is when you're looking at your site, you're gonna see critical errors, warnings, and recommendations. The list at the bottom of the top SEO issues it's just broken down per section, but it's the same thing as the critical warnings and recommendations. And you want to start with the critical errors. So you go through the critical errors and it breaks down the issues from the pages with low word count. It even breaks down what is this and how do I fix it? You just click on it. It says without enough text on a page, Google will have trouble understanding what the content is about. And then it goes into more in depth. And how do I fix it? And then it breaks down how you fix it as well. And it does this for literally everything. Duplicate meta descriptions, what is this? How do I fix it? A meta description are small blurbs you see in search results under page titles. And of course it goes more in depth and it also teaches you how to fix it. And it links to an article that breaks that down on how to write amazing meta descriptions so you can rank higher as well. So let's go into five pages with duplicate meta description, right? It'll show you, all right, there's three pages that use the same URL here or the same meta description there. There's two pages that use this meta description and I can go back to SEO issues and I can continually see a list and I want to focus on the critical errors. So make sure you have critical errors selected. That's the first one you want to do. And you typically, I know I clicked on the meta description, but you typically want to start at the top, fix all those errors, then fix the meta description errors or whatever's next and adjust them in importance to your website. So you may not see low word count at the top because for your website, there could be other issues that are more important and those would be at the top. And it adjusts the order per site. And again, you wanna go from top down. So I would wanna go through each of these. These are the 13 pages with low word count. And what you'll find is when you go through some of these uh, pages or these errors, sometimes it's okay. Like if it's a about page, I may not have a lot of words and that's okay or a contact page. So you don't always have to fix every single page, but use your best judgment in determining, hey, am I gonna fix this or am I not? And you'll wanna, in essence, clean up as many issues as possible. And once you go through the critical errors, then you would wanna do the same for warnings and go through them. Then you wanna go through the same for recommendations, if there are any. And then, then you have most of your errors fixed. In addition to that, you'll wanna work on improving your site speed. Site speed is super important, especially with the page level experience algorithm update or the page experience algorithm update in which you want to make sure that your page, especially on mobile devices, has an amazing user experience. So it'll tell you if your site is fair, good, excellent. I need to work on my uh, mobile and really improve these numbers here. And it ends up breaking down what's the issue 
Uh, you can click hover over the question mark. It'll tell you what's issue. Latency was an issue here. This is an estimated latency of how long your app took to respond for the user input in milliseconds during the busiest five second window of page load time. If your latency is higher than 50 MS, users may perceive the app as laggy or your website as laggy. So you wanna fix these things. Um, some of this stuff is hosting related, so you can check out hosts like DreamHost that can help with that issue. Same with you know latency for desktop, similar issue, not as bad, but similar issue. And once you fix all these issues, then what I want you to do is go back to Uber Suggest, type in your URL, make sure you're on the SEO Analyze report that is here in the sidebar, and then just click recrawl. It could take anywhere, you know, 10 minutes on average, as it says here, to crawl your page. So it's crawling my site from scratch. Keep in mind, I have a really massive site with probably close to 10,000 pages. So it takes time. In theory, at UberSuggest, we can just crawl your whole site super fast, but we don't want to bombard your server with requests. So we do it slow and easy to not affect the user experience because if we hit you 500 times at once, it could slow down the experience for other people. That's why we don't do that, and that's why it takes some time to crawl your site, just because we want to be super careful about that and make sure we're not bombarding your servers. And once you go through this, make those changes, click that refresh button or recrawl button. It'll take time. As I mentioned, it can be anywhere from a minute or two all the way up to 10 plus minutes if you have a massive site like me. Um, and then it'll tell you, did you improve your score? Did things get better? Uh, what new errors have they found? what are fine, right? What did you actually fix? And I mentioned what new errors are found and the reason being is sometimes when you fix stuff, you could also cause errors as well. So you just wanna go through and double check it. And then once you do this, you'll see a completed report that breaks down everything, um, that breaks down all your errors and issues and your score. And then from there, you're pretty much good to go. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Please like it, share it, tell other people about it. If you have any questions about your site audit or your score, how to improve it, you can always leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer and help you out. If you just want my team to fix everything for you, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.